the unmistakably bleak rolling hills of Otterburn, close to the Scottish border in northern England. The site where generations of soldiers have finessed infantry skills, with its landscape and frequently its climate challenging to say the least. Where better then for the current cohort of trainee riflemen to learn the harsh realities of Warcraft ahead of joining the illustrious Brigade of Gurkhas. Um, Fieldcraft is very important because all Gurkha soldiers are unique. Reason why? Because all Gurkha soldiers, regardless of the trade, wherever they go, either signaler or logistics or even clerks, they are first infantrymen first. So hence the reason why uh, Fieldcraft is really, really um, important in Gurkha Company. In all, the recruits must complete nine exercises as part of their infantry training. Eight months into that process, this is the most challenging test the men have faced in the field. It's called Defense X, and the name of the game is sleep deprivation and physical exhaustion. The recruits have built a position and they must now defend it. The exercise is tough. The men are dealing with sleep deprivation, but they're also having to build these things from scratch. It's a four-man trench, and in this space, the men have to live, they have to exist, and they also have to fight should an attack occur. We are learning to defense, defense, and it's quite uh, hard here to uh, make uh, trains like this uh, firing bay, uh, shelter bay. It's quite hard uh, because uh, while digging, we have found lots of uh, stones, so it's very difficult for us to dig here. And uh, quite we are uh, learning many more things, uh, like uh, we are uh, enemies. Uh, enemies can come from any side, so we have to uh, be all out on the sentry position. The day one, we had to uh, build a four-man trench, like uh, it, uh, 24 hours without this. Uh, we had some rest, but we had to dig uh, four-man trench and two-man trench for the other uh, guys and uh, it was quite a difficult task, but uh, it has, uh, I think it was a good experience, a uh, lifetime experience for me, and I had a fun while digging. Anybody questioning the validity of training soldiers to dig trenches in preparation for 21st century warfare need only look to Ukraine as evidence. Sometimes the old fashioned way of doing things is the most appropriate. So we're gonna take, uh, we're on the right flank and Happy with that. British Army doctrine for defending a position like this includes proactive measures such as sending out patrols in the immediate surrounding areas. Here, while conducting such a patrol, the men have come under fire. are on defense exercise at the moment and then part of it we were out on GDA so while patrolling we came under enemy contact and we just took uh, two enemy positions and uh, now we are on section regroup uh, the uh, trained riflemen they have uh, cleared and searched the enemy as well uh, what they have just found is uh, intel um, and we are building up the scenario as we go along on the defense exercise at the moment and it was quite a complex scenario because you had one contact and you might have thought that you dealt with it and then there was a secondary contact which, you know, your team had to deal with. What does that demonstrate? It shows that they've come quite far in their training. This is um, um, towards nearly, I'll say, uh, around they have already finished the 80% of the training. This is the defence exercise and after this they only have got left uh, final exercise. Uh, as well as LFTT, so which means they are, uh, they are quite near to their uh, initial uh, trade training as well. Back at the position, there's just enough time to check kit and perhaps get some momentary rest. From the day we deployed till now, uh, they haven't got much sleep yet. And the main reason for this is obviously in real life situation, uh, this is exactly the sort of environment, exactly the sort of fatigue they'll be experiencing. Uh, when they are doing sort of uh, exercise of, in real time, defensive operation. Suddenly, all rest comes to an end. The permanent staff are simulating a chemical attack on the recruit's position. It means the recruits must don CBRN kit, including respirators, and a painstaking scramble out of the position, uphill of course, to regroup and prepare for a counter-attack at dawn. It's all in a day's training for these men. Gurkha warriors in the making, nearing the end of what's been nine months of arduous infantry training.
James Walton forces news, Otterburn. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.